Rachna Toshnewal. Hello, hello. Our hello, hello. Residents also doing other interesting things. Tell me about this piece and the project that it's involved with. Okay, so this is part of the Weaving Interconnections project that I'm doing in Alibag in Mumbai, near Mumbai. And I'm working with the local women community and we've been collecting materials from the beach. So what we have here is rope from the beach, which has been unwound. And then it's been kind of woven into a kind of turtle, I guess, <laughs> where we've... Uh, yeah, they've used the shell of a basket, which also they found in the ocean. So this is all litter, which comes from the ocean onto the beach. And we've been collecting materials that we can use to create different things. And turtles are also part of the ocean. And you do see them washed up once in a while here on the beach. And the women thought that they would like to make one out of the materials that we had found. So... Yeah, this is what they created yesterday. And, so their, uh, their um, experience of art making in this way sounds like it's quite new, that they did more traditional things before. Yes, they would normally make kind of things like wall hangings and, you know, more pretty, like very more kind of, yeah. They use macrame, like there's one of the ladies who's very good at macrame, so she's teaching the other ladies how to do it. But to create an object like this is very different for them, that's for sure. <laughs> it makes me think of the expressive arts uh, phrase, uh, expanding the play range. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Were, exactly. And you were telling me that uh, you, you took them to the Museum of Modern Art. and I uh, did. So how yeah, was that, that? How was that? How that was an amazing fun? experience. Yeah, we there was a show on the textiles of India. It's called Now, Then and something. <laughs> and uh, they were so observant. They were so excited, one. And then they looked at all the works very carefully and looked at the patterns. They, they were looking for the forms of the ocean because that's the theme that, you know, we've been working with. And... And then, so there were three uh, kind of layers to the exhibition. There was the saris, the traditional woven saris, which are which weave patterns. So that's very skilled work. But they still be so we looked at that, and then there was embroidery and working with thread. And they were really excited about that because that's also something that they're doing here. And then the third layer was the more kind of contemporary use of materials, and that was very exciting because in a way it was bringing together what we are doing and people had also used recycled materials and, you know, so that they related to a lot. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, they want to do something, some of the imagery from there, they want to kind of translate it into something that we also make together as part of the project, so. Great. So yeah. tell us a little bit about where you are right now. Where are you right now? Um, I'm here in my studio in Alibag. This is a space that I kind of built and created in um, 2020 was when it got ready. And it's also the place now where we all are working together. That's the loom the, that we've just set up. It's a second tapestry that we're doing. Can we get and a close up of, of what you've started? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to work this computer. Um. Yeah. So that's that the, yeah. That's the loom. We started weaving yesterday. So weaving is also a new technique for the uh, for the women. But so yesterday we just made we made everyone try uh, their hand at a couple of lines, and this is also made of saris, old saris that we've cut up and stitched into, like made it into a uh, thread, I guess, or rope in a way to string the loom and then this is plastic this oh where where is my hand uh, okay yeah. so this is plastic um and then we have more cloth and these are old cement bags which also were found everything is found in the ocean and these are nets like these are old nets which have just been discarded and wash up on the beach and this is another kind of net so i'm learning a lot about the fishing in the way people fish here and I mean, there's also a lot of um, this. If you look up here, oh, can I can I show you? 
uh, where is it? No, this direction. Can you see this? So this is a net that they use to yes. catch crabs. And they so they're gonna create one like this out of cloth. And is this um and this is another traditional net that they made, where is it here? Which basically so it hangs like that. And they use this to fish in the sea. Wow. And it's made up of old saris, like saris which were found in the sea, which they braided. And now they then they knotted into a net. So this traditional way of knotting is very interesting uh, as they move along. So yeah, there's another net being made over here, which is out of more shiny material. So you can see the mm -hmm. knotting that they started doing. And um, yeah, there's something in my hair. I don't know if I, you can see this. This is something that they make traditionally as well uh, to <laughs> put in their hair. It's really pretty. So again, made out of recycled cloth and it's called a veiny. Yeah, so lots of different. And these are all our materials, a lot of the materials that we keep experimenting with. These are the braids that they've been using. This is another basket that they found, which they've started weaving and they want to... I'm not sure what exactly they're going to do with it yet, but they're thinking about it. <laughs> this, this is fun. This is, a, this is one of my favorite. It's like an octopus, mm -hmm. which we're making out of this tangle of rope that we also found on the ocean. So they're doing some crochet work over there. Wonderful that this this integration that you've been interested in of uh, expressive arts and uh, nature based work, you yes, nature based expressive arts. I mean that's what you're doing, and this this project comes out of a fellowship. Can you tell us about this fellowship? Yeah, it's a fellowship uh, which has been given to me by an organization called Sustaina India, and they also wanted to use art as a way of entry of um, talking about environmental issues like climate change and sustainable lifestyles and uh, to have, so they their funding, they were, the fellowship was to uh, kind of support projects that were from the, from its, from their conception to, and the process to its conclusion as environmentally and nature-based as possible. So <laughs> the use of like recycled materials from the beach and collecting. So we're cleaning up the beach. We're also then using that as our, our raw material for making art and creating awareness amongst the community and ourselves of how, how we could, you know, possibly change or affect some kind of uh, shift in how we are interacting with our with our environment and with nature so yeah sustaina india fellowship we have a show that all all the artwork will be uh, presented at a show in delhi in february so we're preparing for that and um, it's a it's a it's a collaboration between an organization a think tank an environmental think tank in delhi and art an artist uh, based organization called pollinator and they've come together to infuse the environmental uh, conversation with art. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, even though your uh, stint as a poet in residence ends at the end of December, it looks like uh, this might be a lovely way to continue your connection to Expressive Arts Without Borders, just giving us updates on uh, this work that you're doing there. Yes, definitely. I will do that. I'm hoping to continue also beyond this fellowship. And the women are really excited to make something more and keep working together. So let's see how it Wonderful. Goes. Well, maybe what we can do sometime in the coming year is uh, one of our free online workshops uh, uh, for Expressive Arts Without Borders that just talks a little bit about uh, how uh, relevant uh, uh, expressive arts can be in responding to uh, climate change. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. I think it has a lot of potential. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, lovely spending this time with you, Rachna. And uh, 
I look forward to uh, the coming weeks when we might have uh, something from you, a poem or two before uh, uh, the year ends. Yes, definitely. Yeah, there are many poems waiting to be put out there. <laughs> Thank uh, thanks you, for, uh, Thanks for bringing us into your studio. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely to have you. <laughs>